my talk uh, has the title to write a poem after the, after the, the end of the world and it will be connected to to unfortunately to the second world war and the situation of Polish poetry just after the war. Saying the end of the world, I mean just the feeling of the complete catastrophe of the traditional values of the Western civilization. The German philosopher Adorno said that to write poetry after Auschwitz is barbaric. Paul Salan and Ingeborg Bachmann are considered to be an expression of this impossibility. We can see uh, when we read Paul Salan, it's uh, still a kind of fight between the silence and the voice. Uh, and the speaking persona is perishing and destroyed bit after bit. Poland lost the six million citizens during the Second World War and was the first country occupied by Nazi Germany and Soviet Russia at the same time. So the capital of Poland was annihilated and the whole generation of poets, writers, professors and others, intellectuals was killed by the German and Soviet occupants. And everyone who saw the Warsaw Desert of Ruins with a hundred of thousands inhabitants turning into dust uh, on the day of liberation can have a slight idea of that kind of feeling. And I use the word the liberation with a bitter irony because that day was the beginning of the communist terror in Poland. And this very moment is called by Czesław Miłosz in one of his poems the moment without the name. The experience of the survived surpasses their capacity of expression, the capacity of their language. So Miłosz say, says that we have no names to explain what we have seen. And there is like two ways in Polish poetry after the war. The first one, to dealing with the silence, to express uh, impossibility of expression, and another one, to, to talk, to speak. I think the most powerful and the most exact expression of these feelings is the poetry of Tadeusz Brzewicz. I am 24, led to slaughter, I survived. I am searching for a teacher and a master. Let him give me back my sight, hearing and speech. For him the poetry lost everything during the war, and the poet has to reinvent it from the ground. He says that he writes because all we can do for the murdered is to give them justice and truth. But why the truth was so important? The communist regime in Poland, just after the war, was a time of big manipulation and the destruction of the traditional sense of truth. So many of our surviving intellectuals in Poland are seduced, influenced, terrorized by, by this vision of a new communist world. So the poetry is about giving a voice to those from whom the voice was taken off. The moral issue of the poetry against the communist omnipresent lie permeates also the poetry of Zbigniew Herbert. I thump on the board and it prompts me with the moralist dry poem. Yes, yes, no, no. In, in Polish uh, tradition, poetry was always connected to the history of the nation. So the poetry is also about the simple beauty and the miracle of life restoring after every annihilation. It is a voice of human being, the art resulting from our use of language. As Joseph Brodsky used to say, poetry exists because the language exists. Today the world ends, a bee circles a clover, a fisherman 
man's a glimmering net, only a white-haired old man who would be a prophet, yet is not a prophet, for he is much too busy, repeats while he paints his tomatoes. There will be no other end of the world. There will be no other end of the world. Warsaw, 1944. Thank you very much.